We'll now find an equation of a line given two points on the line. The points we're given are 4, negative 6 and negative 10, 15. In order to find an equation of the line, we need a slope and a point. Well, we have two points to choose from for the point, and given the two points, we can calculate the slope. The slope is the rise over the run, or the change in y over change in x. The change in y we find by subtracting the y coordinates, negative 6 minus 15. The change in x we find by subtracting the x coordinates in the same order, 4 minus negative 10. This gives us negative 21 over 14, which simplifies to negative 3 halves. Now that we know the slope, we can use one of two methods to find the, an equation of the line. And we'll do it using both methods so that we have a check of our answer. We'll start by using the point-slope equation. That equation is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. In order to use this, we need a point and the slope. The slope we know is negative 3 halves. We're given two points on the line, and we can choose which one we want to use. Let's use the one with the smaller numbers for negative 6. I will substitute negative 3 halves for m, 4 for x sub 1, and negative 6 for y sub 1. So I have y minus negative 6 equals negative 3 halves times x minus 4. And notice that the y and the x are the variables and they stay in after I've substituted in the equation. This gives us an equation of the line. Typically we write it in slope intercept form, so let's solve for y. We have y plus 6 equals negative 3 halves x, and now we multiply negative 3 halves times negative 4, which gives us 12 halves, or plus 6. If we subtract 6 from both sides, we have y equals negative 3 halves x as an equation of the line. Now let's do this again using the slope-intercept form to find the equation of the line. The slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We're given the slope, or we know the slope from calculating it. We don't know what b is or what the y-intercept is. But we do know a couple of points on the line. In particular, we know the point for negative 6. We can substitute 4 for x, negative 6 for y, negative 3 halves for m, and solve for b, and then we can write the, the slope-intercept form of the equation. So let's do that. Substituting negative 6 for y, negative 3 halves for m, 4 for x, and then plus b. We now solve for b. Well, we have negative 6 equals negative 3 halves times 4 is negative 12 over 2, which is negative 6 plus b. Adding 6 to both sides of the equation, we have 0 equals b. Now I know b, and I know negative 3 halves. So I can sub substitute in here and get y equals negative 3 halves x plus 0, or y equals negative 3 halves x. Now since this is the same equation we got using the other method, we have a good check and we can state that this is an equation of the line that goes through those two points.